Hello everyone, my name is Marcel and this video will learn how to implement sentiment analysis on Power to My Desktop. So I have here three text files uh, that we will use to test so the sentiment analysis that we will implement. So the first one has a positive sentiment, the second one has a negative sentiment as we can see, and the third has so a positive uh, sentiment. So I suggest just uh, for you to follow this tutorial to create some uh, text files uh, with uh, some so with positive sentiment, another with negative sentiment, so we can so you can follow uh, more easily this tutorial. So now um, before we implement the sentiment analysis, let's uh, just uh, uh, on our flow here on PowerMe Desktop create a loop for each text file so by this way we can so implement a sentiment analysis for each file in a simple way so here on actions let's search for get files and we can see here so the action get files in folder so uh, basically this action will provide to us uh, the files uh, that are uh, stored in certain folders so let's indicate the folder of our text files. So let's click here on this option. And now let's select, so here, uh, in my case, it's this folder, sentiment analysis. And now we can see here on variables producer that will be created this variable that will contain, so the files retrieved. So let's just save. And now if you run our automation, we can see here the files uh, that are stored in the folder. So the files that we will use to implement the sentiment analysis. So now to create a loop for each file, let's here search for loop. And let's drag the action loop. And we just have to provide so, um, sorry, isn't this one, it's the for each, my mistake. Uh, the for each action, so let's drag this action. And so now we just have to indicate the value to iterate. So in this case, it's this variable that contains so uh, the file store. So let's select uh, this variable that it's a list of files. And now here, uh, variables produced with this variable, we will have access so to the current item value in each iteration. So that means uh, each file iterate. So let's just change this to current file. And now let's click on save. And now inside of this for each loop, we will implement the sentiment analysis. So here on actions, let's type in sentiment. And now we can see here two actions, one that it's related to a Microsoft service and another to Google. So in this case, We'll use the action from Google, the action analyze sentiment. So let's drag this action to our uh, flow inside of a for each loop to perform so uh, this action for each file iterated. And so now we have to provide API keys. So we have to access to Google Cloud Platform, enable the access to the API and then uh, get the API key so we can use this service. So let's uh, do this. So to have access to the Google Cloud Network Language Service, let's uh, search on Google for Google Cloud Platform. And so let's click here on the first result. And so uh, you just need to do login. So if you have already a Google account, you can so access to this. If you don't have a Google account, just create one. And so then you can log in on this platform. Now that we are here, let's search here for product. So in this case, the natural language service. So we can see here cloud natural language API. So it's this one. So let's click here. And now we have to enable this service so we can use it on Power Automate Desktop. So let's click here on Enable and will appear so really required. So 
let's use, uh, let's enjoy the free trial that Google provides first to so test this service. So let's here click on activate to use the free trial. And now here let's accept the terms. And uh, we can see here that will not exist no auto shards after trial ends. So uh, Google will ask just for our credit card to make sure we are not a robot and uh, they will not charge uh, us unless we upgrade to a paid account. So uh, let's just continue. Now here we have to input our phone number. And now that we are here, you'll have to so add here payment method with your debit or credit card. And so after you add your payment method, just click on start my free trial. And so we got our free trial. So here we just have to input some information. And so now that we are on our trial, let's search here again for network language service. And let's click here on this option. And now let's enable the access to this API. And now we are able to use this service on Power Automate Desktop. So now we just have to get the API key so we can use the Analyze Sentiment action. So let's click here on Credentials. And now uh, let's click here on Credentials in APIs eService, this option here. And now let's click here on Create Credentials and let's select the option API key. And now we got our API key. Let's copy it and paste on Power to Make Desktop on the API key parameter. And now here on document type, it's the plain text option. Provide document. Here is the option from file. And now we have to indicate the file path. So we have the file path on here, on this variable current file. We have access so to the path of each iterated file. So let's select this uh, variable. And now here on language, we don't have to provide a value on this option. So uh, this analyze sentiment um, service will already provide on the response, the language of the document. And now here we can see that will be created two variables. One, the JSON response, so the API response results. In this case, it's basically the sentiment analysis result. And then another, it's a status code. So if the request was successful or not, so we don't need this one really. We just want to know so the response of the sentiment analysis. So now let's click here on save and see uh, more easily uh, so the sentiment analysis, so the JSON response. Let's use the display message action to show us a message box and drag it after the analyze sentiment. And now here on message to display, let's select so the JSON response and let's click on save. And now let's run our automation to see how it's working. So we got already the first sentiment analysis on the first file. So we can see here some uh, properties. So magnitude, score, language, English. Uh, we can see uh, also the sentence. I'm very happy with this. So here, uh, let's focus on here magnitude on score. So magnitude is basically is a number that goes from zero to infinity. And basically it's the weight of the sentiment expressed in the statement. Uh, basically it's this. And the score it's so the sentiment score. So it's a number that can go from minus one to plus one. So minus one it's really bad sentiment and uh, uh, plus one, it's a very good. So we can see that the score here, basically it's saying that it's a good sentiment. So now let's click here on okay to go to the next one. 
So now this one, it's the one that it's a negative sentiment and we can see here the score, it's uh, basically minus zero, zero dot nine, so it's a bad sentiment. So it's working well, this sentiment analysis. So let's click here on OK. And now the third, so it's a positive sentiment, so very good quality. And we can see here on the score that it also agrees that it's a positive sentiment. And so now we are on the end of this video. And so in this video, we learned so how to implement the sentiment analysis from Google on our flow in PowerTomay Desktop. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.